Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tara, and I am here to do um, our After Dark reading. This After Dark reading is for Divine Feminine only. So Divine Feminine, I'm doing your After Dark reading tonight. So I'm only um, pulling on your energy, Divine Feminine. Um, so um, Divine Feminine, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So this reading can manifest after dark hours tonight. It can manifest later on down the line of time. Or this present after dark reading, Divine Feminine could be past energy for you. If this present after dark reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present after dark reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So Divine Feminine, I just got one message for you during the pre-shuffle. And um, Divine Feminine, the message that I got was, it's judgment day for your enemy. And it's at the bottom of the deck right here. It's judgment day for your enemies. Divine Feminine, your enemies could have had, um, could be under judgment today or maybe tomorrow. Or your enemies um, came under judgment today, like earlier today. Or they're going to come under judgment tomorrow. Um, so, saying that, um, my after dark reading hours consist of the hours of 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day. So, today is Wednesday, September the 21st. So, again, today is Wednesday, Wednesday September the 21st. My after dark reading hours consist of the hours of 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day. So, Divine Feminine... Your enemies could have got judgment earlier today, or they're going to get their judgment tomorrow, maybe the early morning hours or something. But Divine Feminine, is judgment day for your enemies. Um, Divine Feminine, your enemies could be under psychic attack, or they could be getting karma for um, putting you under psychic attack or something like that. So something like that is going on. That's where the message came from. That deck right there. All right. So again, I'm going to say it again. Divine Feminine is judgment day for your enemies. Either earlier today, um, early morning hours tomorrow, or sometime tomorrow is judgment day for your enemies. That's the message that I got. Or well, that's what stood out to me during the pre-shuffle. So. Divine Feminine, I'm also, I also just picked up Spirit is um clearing up some confusion. Divine Feminine, you could have been under psychic attack. Because your um, enemies, they put you under psychic attack. And Divine Feminine, between after dark hours to, tonight and maybe between after dark hours tonight and tomorrow, you're going to... um. Spirit is clearing up some type of confusion. I just heard that. I picked that up intuitively. So Divine Feminine, um, your enemies could have put your chakras under attack or it was some type of confusion spell. So Divine Feminine, you couldn't get yourself together. You could have, it was some type of confusion spell or something like that. But Spirit is going to um, clear up this confusion. Divine Feminine, you was under psychic attack. And um, your enemies is getting karma. So it's say enemies with an S. So Divine Feminine, it, it could be more than one. Don't have to be. So. All right. So let me go ahead and jump in. So, um. I also just heard Divine Feminine Spirit is leading and guiding you. Spirit is leading and guiding you or Spirit is going to tell you what to do, Divine Feminine. So um, clear up some type of confusion. Divine Feminine, you could have been confused or... It was like, I just heard vertigo. Divine Feminine, you thought you had vertigo, but you was really under psychic attack. So you didn't know like which way to go or you couldn't make up your mind. You was like in a state of confusion. I also just heard the, the state of shock. So Divine Feminine, this could have happened to you earlier today in the, in the past. And your enemies is getting karma for that. 
Divine Feminine, you was under a psychic attack. Or this is happening to you after dark hours tonight. And you might be delivered from this psychic attack after dark hours tonight or like early morning hours tomorrow or tomorrow. Or something like that. All right. So what's the Divine Feminine's angel number for after dark hours tonight? Yeah, and then the right feminine, your enemies might apologize to you. Because I just looked over and this was at the bottom of this deck. So someone wants forgiveness. So divine feminine, your enemies is under judgment. And um some of them are going to want to apologize to you, divine feminine. Alright. What's divine feminine's angel number? Uh-uh. So, Divine Feminine, I'm picking up. You have a lot of angelic support, divine intervention. You're divinely protected after dark hours tonight. Divine Feminine, you can have three angels in your energy. Three holy angels in your energy. Divine Feminine, you under psychic attack. So, you need um, divine protection. Yeah, so it could be three angels, Divine Feminine, around you to protect you. Or they're going to, like, be with you, Divine Feminine, while while you, like, get over this, whatever this psychic attack, whatever they was doing, Divine Feminine. Um, Divine Feminine, you could have also been having night terrors. Or this psychic attack could have happened through, through your dreams, Divine Feminine. These karmics could have been trying to send you a death ritual or something in your dream. And Divine Feminine, you're even protected while you sleep. So I see that, too. Something to do with some dream messages, Divine Feminine, that was sent from, like, your enemies. So Divine Feminine, your enemies was trying to send you a um a traumatizing message in your dream, or they could have sent you a death ritual. And they could have wanted you to pass away in your sleep. But Divine Feminine, you're, you're divinely protected. So you could have been having nightmares or something, Divine Feminine. All right. Give me Divine Feminine's angel number. Yeah, it's a lot of confusion. I just saw, like, Divine Feminine, something was coming towards you. Confusion. And it's going to get pushed back. Yeah, it was like a, a, a dark mist. It wasn't really a cloud, but, like, some darkness was coming towards you. And it's going to get pushed back. Yeah. All right. Give me Divine Feminine Angel number. All right. Number 31. So you break that down, that's a four. So Divine Feminine, after dark hours tonight, you're disciplined. And it could be because Divine Feminine, you under um, spiritual attack. So um, there is a certain type of um, <clears throat> seriousness about you, Divine Feminine. You're very disciplined because you could be under attack. So I say your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. So Divine Feminine, somebody could be trying to knock you off your square. Divine Feminine, somebody don't want you to manifest. You're trying to manifest something and Divine Feminine, you're coming under attack because you're manifesting. So that makes sense, Divine Feminine. You're under attack, divine feminine, because you could be. You're trying to manifest something that's good. You're manifesting. So again, your approach to life is an effective mix of both of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is stirring with creative ideas. Yeah, divine feminine, you're um, and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. Yeah, divine feminine, your enemies wanted to stop like. Wanted to cloud your mind. Because Divine Feminine, you're manifesting. You need your mind to manifest. And Divine Feminine, the cards are telling me your mind is stirring with creative ideas. So Divine Feminine, you're... I picked up vertigo. Divine Feminine, you think you have vertigo, but it's not. You under psychic attack. They're trying to... T t this attack is trying to defeat your creative ideas, Divine Feminine. But you're going to be protected. So it's like, I'm kind of picking up Divine Feminine. It's like, no matter what you do, you're going to be confused or something like that, Divine Feminine. It's because you have to wait for this to blow over.
Because Divine Feminine, you under attack. I don't know. Divine Feminine, you could be experiencing writer's block. And it's not natural. Your writer's block, Divine Feminine, or you feeling like you have vertigo, it's not natural. You're under psychic attack. So Divine Feminine, I'm picking up. You just got to wait for it to blow over because you're under psychic, psychic attack. And your angels are um, fighting for you, Divine Feminine. Yeah, it's some type of, and it came back out, yeah, but it came out sideways. Yeah. Divine Feminine, you could be in denial. Divine Feminine, your enemies could be your friends or they could be your fellow co-workers. Divine Feminine, somebody coming up against you, they want to block your creativity. Somebody is aware, Divine Feminine, you're manifesting. And they're sending you under psychic attack, Divine Feminine. And Divine Feminine, you could be in denial. It's somebody close to you. It could be some co-workers. Um, I heard it's somebody you do your homework with, Divine Feminine. So this could be like a college. Divine Feminine, you could be in school and you working on a project. Or Divine Feminine, you writing a book or something. And it's someone you're working with that's um, putting you under psychic attack. And Divine Feminine, you don't... You don't have to save your space. Divine Feminine, because you have three angels. It's probably three or more. It's probably more. Divine Feminine, I don't know what the hell this is, what your enemies did, but whatever type of spell work this is or dark magic is very strong because you need three to more angels, Divine Feminine, to protect you. So whatever this is, Divine Feminine, sage is not going to work. And Divine Feminine, you could be in denial or you feel sorry for whoever your enemies are that's under attack, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, you didn't know that these people was coming up against you. But it's them, Divine Feminine. Yep, so something like that going on, Divine Feminine. Oh, yep, so something going on. It's some spiritual warfare, Divine Feminine, in your energy. And then look, hostilities. Divine Feminine, these could be your angels protecting you, or this is the energy that's coming up against you. Hostilities. Divine Feminine, you're being met with hostilities. It can even be your thoughts, Divine Feminine. Yeah, these hostilities, Divine Feminine, against you is a strategy of your enemies. It was a strategy. Yeah, so what's, um, no. So give me a message for Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, you are royalty. So Okay, so tarot reader. So Divine Feminine, um, one of your enemies could be a tarot reader. Or Divine Feminine, you could be a tarot reader. So something to do with a tarot reader. Divine Feminine, that's your message. I also just heard, Divine Feminine, you in the process of making a tarot deck. You're in the process of creating a tarot deck. And that's why you could be coming under psychic attack. Or Divine Feminine, you could have purchased a tarot deck and it's hexed from a tarot reader. And this tarot deck could be hexed. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up a, a tarot reader could have gave you like one of their decks, their, their tarot decks. But... This deck is like Hex, Divine Feminine, because Divine Feminine, somebody could be hating on you. So it's like somebody is aware, Divine Feminine, that you're trying to manifest something. So somebody, a tarot reader could have sent you a gift, Divine Feminine, but it's putting you under psychic attack because somebody want to stop like your grind. Somebody want to stop your shine. Somebody don't want you to manifest. So a tarot reader, Divine Feminine, could have gifted you with a tarot deck. Or, Divine Feminine, you're a tarot reader and you're coming under psychic attack because they don't want, your enemies don't want you to make a tarot deck or something. Or something like that. So, Divine Feminine, you're dealing with a tarot reader or you're a tarot reader. Or it could be both. Yeah. So, clarify tarot reader. What's going on with tarot reader? Yeah, shaman. Yep. Divine Feminine, you could be a shaman or one of your enemies are a shaman. This tarot reader could be a shaman.
something to do with a shaman. So again, divine feminine, one of your enemies is a shaman or you're a shaman and somebody a tarot reader. Yeah. Yeah, so those are the mess messages. Not only are you a miracle, one is on its way to you. So the right feminine spirit wants you to know that as well. Not only are you a miracle, one is on its way to you. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up. Somebody put you under heavy demonic attack. And Divine Feminine, you're going to overcome it. And it's a miracle, Divine Feminine. Um, but you have um, angelic protection. So let's see what's going on with you, Divine Feminine, and Love and Romance. That's what I wanted to do. Pick you an angel answer. Let me do that. Let me give you an angel answer. What's the mind from this angel answer for after dark hours tonight from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day? All right, so two flew out. So we have, yes, not the right time. Yeah. So divine feminine, I'm picking up whatever type of demonic attack you go through after dark hours tonight. Divine feminine, you might have to um like take a break from something. But divine feminine, your your normalcy is going to come back. Your normalcy is going to come back. Because your angels is fighting a battle for you, Divine Feminine. So, Divine Feminine, you could have been writing a book. You, you could have been creating a tarot deck. You, you was working on something, Divine Feminine. You're in the process of manifesting. But you're under attack, Divine Feminine. So, the answer is yes. Spirit wants you to manifest. Spirit don't want you to quit. But after dark, I was tonight, Divine Feminine, I'm picking up. Spirit wants you to take a break. Like, don't force the issue because you're under attack, Divine Feminine. So you might have to retreat. I just heard that you're going to have to retreat, Divine Feminine. Like, pull back until your angels defeat this um this attack. So, Divine Feminine, I don't know. Somebody could have sent some demons to you. Some unclean spirits, Divine Feminine. Your enemies. They could have sent, like, some heavy, heavy stuff to you, Divine Feminine. So, Spirit is saying just retreat, Divine Feminine. You're going to have to endure something. Because you are under attack, Divine Feminine. But your um, spirit is fighting your battles for you. So, yes, Divine Feminine, take a break. You under psychic attack. Something is going on. Divine Feminine, you could experience white writer's block. You might feel like you got vertigo. Divine Feminine, your, your thoughts could become very negative And you don't know where it's coming from. Um... Something going on with you, Divine Feminine, that's out of the norm. And Spirit just wants you to stop. Like, take a break while your enemies is getting defeated. Take a break, Divine Feminine. Yeah, because after dark hours tonight is not the right time, Divine Feminine. It's not the right time. I'm also picking up two... For some of y'all, I just heard this is a small group of y'all. It could be one to two. Divine Feminine, you could be working on a project. And you, Spirit is going to have you woke all night. Divine Feminine, Spirit not going to let you go to sleep. Because this attack was supposed to happen in your sleep. So Divine Feminine, not the right time to go to sleep. So Divine Feminine, you might be up all night finishing your project. For some reason, Divine Feminine, it's like you can't go to sleep or spirit is going to give you strength to work on your project throughout the night. So, Divine Feminine, you might not go to sleep. So, it's not the right time like the rest or to go to sleep, Divine Feminine. Yeah, for some of y'all, that's for one to two of y'all. Y'all going to be up all night. Because whatever this is, um, Divine Feminine, they was going to get you. It's a death ritual or something in your sleep or something. So, spirit going to have you up all night. But, Divine Feminine, while you're up, you're being productive. You're working on something. For some of y'all, y'all not going to go be able to go to sleep. Your angels might keep you woke. And for other you guys, you guys are going to go to sleep because spirit wants you to take a break from, from something. Because you're under attack. Um, or for some of y'all, a small group of y'all, this attack was supposed to affect you in your sleep state. So you might be up all night. So 
yeah so give me some love messages what can divine feminine expect in love and romance for after our tonight yeah we got obstacles so divine feminine concerning love and romance divine feminine one of your enemies could be a lover or an ex-lover or a potential lover divine feminine one of your enemies is a lover of yours it's in the area of uh love and romance so divine feminine I'm picking up somebody could be trying to create obstacles in your love life, Divine Feminine. So you know how one thing affects another? It's like something, somebody wants something to be a domino effect. Like somebody wants to mess up your project. They want to, um, it's like Divine Feminine, if your project get destroyed, your manifestation go to, go to shambles. It's like somebody wants that to affect your finances. Your relationship, your romantic relationship. It's like some, somebody wants something to be a domino effect. So, Divine Feminine, this is a lover or it could be somebody else trying to affect your love life. But, Divine Feminine, somebody wants you to experience obstacles concerning love and romance. So, unhealed wounds are blocking for movement. So, this is what somebody wants to happen to you, Divine Feminine, in love and romance. I'm picking up Divine Feminine. Y'all enemies is some, it's people that's close to y'all. And they know your business. They know what you're working on. They know who your lover is. These people, your enemies, know um, what's, going on, what's going on in your relationship with your lover or your lover. I heard somebody got the perfect plan. Divine Feminine, y'all enemies, they think they have the perfect plan. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, your enemies wants to cause you obstacles in your love life. Divine Feminine, you don't have any unhealed wounds in your love life. That's going to block your forward movement. But your enemies want to create unhealed wounds that's going to actually block your forward movement in love and romance. Yeah. So, give me a message for obstacles coming out sideways. Divine Feminine, you got a lot of enemies around. A lot of haters. Yeah, hand of cards. So take a take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. So divine feminine, you could have an ex that wants you to um have an affair, cheat on your lover. <clears throat> divine feminine, when somebody wants you to take a chance in love and romance, they want you to take a risk. Divine feminine, I'm also picking up somebody could have um invited you. To join their group to to uh, to um bring somebody else under psychic attack, divine feminine, you declined the offer. So these people that wanted you to team up with them to attack somebody else, they're going to attack you, divine feminine, because you told them no. So I just picked that up too. So anyway, let me get back to love and romance. Divine Feminine, if somebody wants you to cheat on your lover or something. Somebody wants you to take a chance, take a risk. Somebody's being strategic. Somebody has options. Or Divine Feminine, somebody wants you to have options in love. Somebody's not showing their hand. Somebody's taking a gamble. So Divine Feminine, whatever somebody's doing against your love life, they're taking a risk. Or Divine Feminine, somebody wants you to take a risk. And somebody probably wants you to have an affair. Divine Feminine, this can even be your friend telling you to cheat on your lover. Or she's telling you that she found you a new lover or something. Yeah, something like that. Also, keep in mind that my Divine Feminine's reading or Divine Feminine's energy could also resonate with the Divine Masculine or a man. If Divine Masculine is in his masculine energy. So, just keep that in mind. So, for example, Divine Masculine, if you a man and you watching this after dark reading and you know it resonates with you, it resonates with you. You just got to re reverse the genders or do what you got to do. So, if I'm saying Divine Feminine and I keep saying she or he, it's like Divine Masculine, if you a man but you know the energy resonates, you just got to flip the genders to make it um completely fit your situation. You got to reverse the genders or whatever. 
So that's what's going on, Divine Feminine. Someone's trying to create obstacles in your love life. And they want you to take a risk. Somebody wants you to have options. Um, Divine Feminine, you probably got work to do. You probably got to go to school. You got to go to work. You're working on a project. And Divine Feminine, somebody is going to come along and suggest that you go out. They want you to go out for drinks, happy hour. Somebody probably wants you to go out on a date. But it's like, Divine Feminine, you got stuff to do. Or something like that. Or somebody want to go to the casino. Divine Feminine, somebody could be wanting you to give them some of your lover's money. So they can take it to the casino. And this person going to um, waste this money on purpose. And Divine Feminine... Divine Feminine, one of your friends or something is doing something on purpose. Somebody wants to go to the casino. And it's going to cause like an upheaval, Divine Feminine, in your love life. Because your one of your friends want to go to the casino. Divine Feminine, maybe your lover don't like when you go to the casino. And Divine Feminine, one of your friends on purpose is going to suggest that you go to the casino. Because somebody wants to cause you obstacles. Divine Feminine, I'm also picking up maybe in the past, you or your lover had a gambling problem. And Divine Feminine, somebody's trying to tempt somebody to relapse on like a gambling problem. So Divine Feminine, somebody could also be trying to affect your finances and love. Somebody wants you to spend all your lover's money or to steal some money from your lover or to go to the casino and just waste your money or something like that, Divine Feminine. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, one of your enemies could be an ex-lover that's pretending to be your friend. Yeah. For some of y'all, I'm picking up these enemies is like somebody you do homework with. It could be co-workers, um, fellow classmates. It could be like your ex-lover that you that you think you're cordial with, Divine Feminine. It could be some ex-lovers. Um, yeah. It could be family. Somebody that knows your business or Divine Feminine, somebody you confide in. Your enemies are people that you confide in, Divine Feminine. All right. So, what energy is Divine Feminine in After Dark Hours tonight? What's going on with Divine Feminine for After Dark Hours? What is going on? We have angel of love. Yeah, so Divine Feminine, you need love, you need healing, you need encouragement. Because Divine Feminine, somebody, these are your enemies, Divine Feminine. You don't want to believe that these people will offend you, but they are Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, it could be your own parents. That's coming up against you, doing, doing, um, doing heavy spell work against you. It's like Divine Feminine, somebody that's supposed to protect you and love you or whatever. It could be your parents. Um, this is the person that's offending you, Divine Feminine. So you you definitely need love, Divine Feminine. Because <laughs> the person that's actually supposed to love you is betraying you. So the, I heard Divine Feminine, some y'all enemies want to see y'all broke, busted, and disgusted. They don't want to see you blessed. This, your enemies don't want to see you happy. And that's not love. That's not love. So Divine Feminine, your enemies don't know love. So I also heard Divine Feminine, your enemies are, are more than your enemies. They're your foes. So Divine Feminine, you're, you got foes. And Divine Feminine, you need love. Because these people around you or this person around you, Divine Feminine, they don't love you. So this could be your parents or like a lover or something. For some of y'all, I'm also hearing it could be y'all spouse. That's doing this to you? Divine Feminine, somebody professing to love you. This person don't love you. But Divine Feminine, your angels is going to show you some love. Divine Feminine, your enemies actually want you deceased. Or for you to um, experience failure. Divine Feminine, some of y'all enemies want you to lose your mind. They want you to go crazy. I just heard poisoning. Divine Feminine, some of y'all y'all enemies are trying to poison y'all. And they're doing it slowly. This is not love. So, Divine Feminine, you need love. Because you got some wicked people around you, Divine Feminine. Or this person, or these people are wicked. 
So we have the angel of love. Divine feminine, the universe is showing you love. The most high is showing you love in your angels. They making sure that you're surrounded by love. At least on a 5D. Because Divine Feminine on a 3D after the hours tonight. You surrounded by some wicked people. These people don't love you. They actually hate you, Divine Feminine. They're haters. They're haters, Divine Feminine. So, give me a message for Divine Feminine with this angel of love. Yeah, um, a clockwork pumpkin. So, Divine Feminine, you could be a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces or you got Pisces in your chart. Um, This card came out for Pisces. I just did Pisces mid-monthly reading for September. And this came out for Pisces. A wonderful idea, the aha moment. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, I'm picking up two for some of y'all. Somebody could have stole your ideas. Divine Feminine, somebody's either copying your work or they're stealing your content or your ideas. <clears throat> so it's like Divine Feminine or somebody's ciphering your energy. Divine Feminine, these people, your enemies, they're stealing something from you. It could be your energy. It could be your power. It could be your ideas. Um, it could be your work, your content. Um, they're stealing it from you, Divine Feminine. So, Divine Feminine, after the hours tonight, it's like Spirit going to give you another idea. So, it's like Divine Feminine, if they steal something from you, Spirit just going to give you another idea. So, Divine Feminine, you're going to ex experience a wonderful idea or the aha moment. Yeah. And Divine Feminine, whatever this idea is that Spirit just um, revealed to you, it's, it's all love, Divine Feminine. It's all good. Because Divine Feminine, you going through hell, whether you realize it or not. Divine Feminine, you could be under psychic attack. And I'm hearing it's all good, Divine Feminine. Yeah, Spirit going to give you an idea. Or you going to have an aha moment about something, Divine Feminine. Yeah, and Divine Feminine, I'm hearing it's all good. It's all love, Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine, you straight though. You might just have to uh, endure this this attack. You might have to endure it for a little bit. Um, but Divine Feminine, you're going to go back to normal. This battle is not going to be for always. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up this battle is very quick. So this might only go on for after dark hours tonight or only today. Or only tomorrow. This is going to be like a quick battle. This is not something that's going to be going on for weeks and months. Uh-uh. Because it's too potent, Divine Feminine. It's too potent. Whatever this is, it's, um, it's very demonic and it's not fair because you're human. So, Divine Feminine, Spirit is making sure everything is fair so you can be able to endure it. Spirit is not going to let um, these entities do too much to you because you're human. So, it has to be fair because Divine Feminine, you coming up. Some dark stuff is coming up against you, Divine Feminine. And it's, it, mm -mm, it's very hateful. It's very hateful. Yeah, so. um, This ain't, uh-uh. Divine Feminine, this gonna be quick. You're not gonna be going through this forever. So, like I said, Divine Feminine, you might be feeling weird or strange after dark hours tonight. But it's only like for tonight. It's only for a little while, Divine Feminine. You only got to endure this for a little while. Yeah. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you need divine protection. What the hell is this? Divine Feminine, you really need an angel. And I saw it could be three to five of them. So, Divine Feminine, I don't know if these is demons coming up against you or it's somebody that could be lurking. And somebody could be planning your demise or somebody want to do you harm while you sleep. Or something crazy like that, Divine Feminine. Or Divine Feminine, somebody could be trying to drive you crazy. Or something like that. Somebody trying to make you go crazy, Divine Feminine. But you're protected. Divine Feminine, you might experience like brain fog and it might freak you out. 
you might experience like a, a, a heavy dose of brain fog more than the norm. And Divine Feminine, it might scare you. But Divine Feminine Spirit going to give you another idea or you're going to have an aha moment about something. And Divine Feminine, you're going to realize something all good. And it's all love, Divine Feminine. Like no love lost, Divine Feminine. You're going to go through this storm real quick and then Divine Feminine, you know, it's going to be over. But this is trifling. This is trifling. This is like some demons trying to confront you or attack you. Or this could even be death trying to approach you, Divine Feminine. Or this is people. They plan on robbing you or doing you harm or something, Divine Feminine. But it's it's not going... Mm -mm. Alright, what's going on with Divine Feminine with Angel of Love and a Clockwork Pumpkin? Yeah, the Six of Cups. So, this is about nostalgia, friendship, innocence, healing, reunions, gifts, familiar, familiarity. So, the right feminine, I told you, these some of y'all, these enemies, y'all think y'all cool with these people. Because these people, your classmates, your ex-lovers, your spouses, your parents. Divine Feminine, you don't have no issue with your enemies, but your enemies got issues with you. So, Divine Feminine, in your mind, you think everything cool. So, Divine Feminine, you innocent or something in a situation. Divine Feminine, like I said, somebody could have gave you a gift, but it's like hexed or something. I just heard everything is not always as it appears. Everything is not always as it appears. Divine Feminine, you think somebody your friend, but they're actually your enemy. Yeah. And then we got the Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Divine Feminine, this could be telling me you're defenseless and spirit is going to protect you. This psychic attack, Divine Feminine, is beyond you. So spirit is going to protect you because Divine Feminine, you Nine Wands in reverse. This is like you being defenseless. Or it's like Divine Feminine, your enemies offended you in the recent past, earlier today, or after dark hours tonight. And it's like Divine Feminine, they don't have no defense. They don't have no defense. It's like, why would they do that to you? They don't have a good enough reason. They being hateful, they being jealous. It's like Divine Feminine, your enemies, they don't have a good enough reason for why they was doing this to you. They might be experiencing exhaustion, fatigue, questioning, paranoia, and defense, defensiveness. So the right feminine, this nine of wands in reverse could be you or your enemies. So the right feminine, you could be a water sign. Dealing with a water sign, you got water, water in your chart. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. The right feminine, you could be a fire sign. Dealing with a fire sign, you got fire in your chart. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Um, I take that back because usually this it's the seven of wands that that um the seven of wands in reverse is like somebody is defenseless, but the nine of wands in reverse could be two. But in this deck, it's saying the nine of wands in reverse is somebody that's experiencing exhaustion or fatigue. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up some of your enemies could be um, being questioned by authorities about a crime they did to you or a crime they did to somebody else. So Divine Feminine, for some of your enemies, they're under investigation. Their home could get raided or they're being called in for questioning about a past crime. That has nothing to do with you, even though you, they offended you too. They, they, your enemies, Divine Feminine, offended other people as well. So somebody's being caught in, into questioning or somebody's home is going to get raided and somebody going to jail and they're going to get questioned or something like that. Somebody don't got no defense. Somebody is defenseless or they're very defensive, defensive. Yeah. Or something like that going on or divine feminine. I just heard Divine Feminine with the Nine of Wands coming out in reverse. Divine Feminine, I heard you say this don't make no sense. So Divine Feminine, you could be going through some type of confusion or whatever your symptoms are while you're under psychic attack. 
Divine Feminine, you might say, this don't make no damn sense. This don't make no sense. Nine of Wands in reverse. That's what I heard you say. This don't make no sense. Like, this is crazy. Why my head hurt like this? Why my ears is ringing like this? Why my head pounding? What is this? This don't make no sense. Or Divine Feminine, these people hate you so bad. It don't make no sense, Divine Feminine. It just don't make no sense for these people to hate you like this. And Divine Feminine, you ain't got nothing but love for these people. Or this person, your enemies. <coughs> Clarify the Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah, we got the Knight of Swords. Yeah. Divine Feminine, this could literally be like, uh, Divine Feminine, you could be under demonic attack. Like, literally, spiritual warfare with, like, demons. And Divine Feminine, you need the protection of, like, the Most High. You need divine love, divine protection. Because Divine Feminine, it could be, like, some demons coming up against you. And that's a totally different level. Like, this is not flesh and blood, Divine Feminine. You could literally, literally be under, like, demonic attack. Yeah. So, anyway, we got the Knight of Swords. So, Divine Feminine, you or somebody else could be a, a air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. Fast-thinking person, a soldier. Divine Feminine, you could be an air sign. You got area chart. Divine Feminine, you could you like a soldier, Divine Feminine. After dark hours tonight, you're enduring something. Action, travel, impulsiveness, defending beliefs. Yeah, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up, though, you know something not normal. Divine Feminine, something could be going on with you. And you know it's not normal. And Divine Feminine, you a soldier. So it's like, Divine Feminine, you know what you got to do. Divine Feminine, you know you need to go in prayer. You know you need to call on your angels. Divine Feminine, you know something up. So Divine Feminine, you like the Knight of, the knight of Swords. You, it's like Divine Feminine, you probably know you under spiritual attack. Or Divine Feminine, you know what somebody is up to. And it's like Divine Feminine, you like, I ain't going to sleep. Because I know what the deal is. Divine Feminine, you could be having some type of symptoms. And you could have been under attack like this before in the past. And you know not to go to sleep when um when this whatever this warfare is. Divine Feminine, you know not to go to sleep when this stuff is happening or something like that or something. Hmm. Divine Feminine, I don't know if somebody could be watching your house. And you're not going to go to sleep or something? Because you know somebody watching watching your house. Divine Feminine, somebody want to catch you off guard. It's like, Divine Feminine, this person is only going to come for you if they know you sleep. Divine Feminine, if this person know you woke, they're not going to do nothing to you. Or something like that. The Knight of Swords. Somebody might get caught doing a crime by the police. Like, somebody going to get caught red-handed. Divine Feminine, somebody from your past that you're fond of, this person is an enemy to you, and this person is getting karma. They might get caught by the police doing something. Not to you, but to somebody else. So somebody might end up in jail, and they're going to get interrogated, and they're going to get questioned. Or Divine Feminine, somebody's going to get caught, like, trying to break in your house or something. <clears throat> yeah divine feminine you could be dealing with a false twin divine feminine i'm telling you somebody don't got love for you whoever your enemy are they this person don't got love for you divine feminine if this is like an ex or something 
you don't have sex with this lover no more. So he could be mad at you, Divine Feminine. Because you don't have sex with him no more. Like an ex. This, this person don't got love for you or Divine Feminine. This could be your false twin. Or your Divine Masculine's false twin that's coming up against you. Somebody's a false twin. Or Divine Feminine, somebody's mad at you because you won't have intercourse with them. Divine Feminine, I'm also picking up Spirit might give you a download. But Divine Feminine, Spirit is telling you it's not the right time to confront somebody. It's not the right time. Let the universe do it. Divine Feminine, you're going to get a confirmation about your enemy and what they're doing. So Spirit is saying, yes, your intuition is on point, Divine Feminine. But it's not the right time to confront this person. It's like Divine Feminine, I'm picking up Spirit is saying, let me handle it. Let divine time and handle it. So divine feminine spirit is fighting your battles. It's like divine feminine. I see in the cards that your intuition is going to be confirmed about something. One of your enemies offending you or offending somebody else. And it's like divine feminine. The angels are saying, yeah, divine feminine. Your intuition is correct. And Divine Feminine, you're tempted to confront this person. And Spirit is saying it's not the right time. Because Divine Feminine, what might happen is this person is going to end up in jail. And Divine Feminine, you're going to be able to go visit this person in jail. And that's when you can confront this person about whatever you got to say. Because this person, somebody going to jail. This is either 3D or 5D jail. Because somebody is defenseless and they're being questioned. Or Divine Feminine Spirit is saying, don't question this person. Let the authorities do it or something like that. Something going on. Or Divine Feminine, one of your enemies is going to jail. And Divine Feminine, you're going to go up to visit this person in prison, like in the near future. And then that's when Spirit wants you to confront this person. Yeah, or something like that. All right, um, give me a charm card for um, Divine Feminine Angel of Love and a Clockwork Pumpkin. Yeah, unique, yeah. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you're very unique. Your situation is unique. Divine Feminine, whatever this spell work is, the, the, whatever this is, this is, everything is like unique. You're unique, Divine Feminine, so you, your enemies have to be unique, like, they can't do just any type of spell work against you, Divine Feminine. Your enemies got to pull out the big guns, Divine Feminine, to try to defeat you. Because you're unique, Divine Feminine. So, their attack against you has to be unique. Because you're unique, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, you could also be biracial. Um, or your children are biracial. And that could be one of the problems. So Divine Feminine, say like you black and you had a baby by a white man and Divine Feminine, your child's father, mother don't like you. She hates your guts because they could be prejudiced or whatever, or she didn't want her son to have a child by a black woman. It's like Divine Feminine, it could be your child's father. He's white. It could be his mother that's doing this to you, but it's like she's smiling your face or she's cordial with you because she don't want her son to know how much she hates you. But she the one who's like sending these psychic attacks your way. So something like that going on. Yeah, somebody could be biracial or somebody got biracial children. So it could be like some prejudicism going on, interracial couples, drama. Somebody really don't like somebody's husband or wife because of like... um people's skin color yeah what's the um give me a charm card for the nine of wands and reverse yeah dragonfly the summer
Give me a charm card, and then we got the snake cold blood at the bottom of the deck. Give me a charm card for the Knight of Swords. Carriage fairy tale. Divine Feminine, I'm, and then we got Victory. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up whatever type of psychic attack you was under. It's like Divine Feminine. This situation is very unique because this could be like 5D spell work. This is 5D. But it's like Divine Feminine, something is a fairy tale. Like how you get justice, the way you're protected, is like a fairy tale, Divine Feminine. It's like a fairy tale. Because this is um, Divine Feminine. You're under attack. This is spiritual warfare. So for the most part, mm, it's like when you do engage in the spiritual warfare, you like on your own. You on your own. <laughs> and it's like people going to think you crazy. People think you going crazy. They don't want to believe you. Divine Feminine, you could have been trying to get a restraining order. Um, somebody being very devious, devilish, sneaky. This person is hard to detect. Like a death ritual. Divine Feminine, somebody could have been sending you death rituals in your sleep. And it's like, Divine Feminine, you can't go to the police and say, oh, I want you to put so-and-so to jail because they doing death rituals on me in my sleep. That's a 5D issue. That's not a 3D issue. So it's like, Divine Feminine, your situation is very unique. And something is like a fairy tale. This Knight of Swords can also be an angel. The Knight of Swords could be a be an angel. It's like Divine Feminine, whatever is going on with you after dark hours tonight, you only read it, read about that in books, or you only watch stuff like that in movies or something like that. So something is a fairy tale, but it's true, Divine Feminine. So why is the summer here? Divine Feminine, this person or your enemies could have been doing this to you the whole summer. Divine Feminine, you could have been under attack the whole summer. Or something like that going on. But Divine Feminine, the truth is going to be revealed. Somebody might end up in jail. Divine Feminine, somebody that was doing spell work on you, dark magic, calling up entities, trying to kill you in your sleep, send you death rituals. Somebody might literally end up in like 3D jail, physical jail. Or like the police or something might come out in the blue. Whew. Yeah. What's the spill? Give me the spill with the angel of love. A clock. What does it say? A clockwork pumpkin and zebra unique. Give me the spill with this. Unimpressed. Yeah. <laughs> I almost just fell out my chair. Ooh. Divine Feminine, somebody don't like the fact that you're protected. Divine Feminine, I'm telling you, this is really evil. This is very hateful. Your enemies is very evil and they're hateful, Divine Feminine. So, Divine Feminine, you, spirit protecting you and loving you. Divine Feminine, somebody stole something from you after dark hours tonight or in the past. And somebody realized that spirit, um, it's like Divine Feminine, this person stole something from you, but you came up with another idea. This person don't like that. They're not impressed, Divine Feminine, that you're being protected. Spirit love you and you're unique. Or Divine Feminine, somebody don't appreciate the fact that you have kids by a different race. Or you're married to somebody of a different race. Divine Feminine, somebody don't like you. 
And this person is not impressed. So, Divine Feminine, I'm going to give you an example. Divine Feminine, say like you grow suspicious and you call the cops and you say, can you send the police to my house because I'm afraid for my life. Somebody was sitting outside my house or I saw somebody in the backyard or whatever. It's like Divine Feminine, somebody was planning on doing harm to you. They're going to drive by your house and see the cops sitting outside. This person going to be pissed. This person is not impressed, Divine Feminine, that you intuitive. It's like, why Divine Feminine got a cop at her house? Now I can't do what I wanted to do. This is 3D or 5D. Divine Feminine, your enemies is crazy. Doesn't care about the mundane. Being too good for something not interested. Divine Feminine, your enemies think they better than you. They're not interested. They don't give a damn that you blessed. They don't give a damn about that, Divine Feminine. This person don't give a damn that you got kids by them. This person don't give a damn that you married they, they uh son. This person don't give a damn about that. They just want to get you out the picture, Divine Feminine. Somebody's not impressed, Divine Feminine. I'm also picking up Divine Feminine. Your enemies is somebody that's close to you and you don't know this person is your enemy. And Divine Feminine, you be telling this person how good the universe is and how good God been to you. And Divine Feminine, this person like, I don't give a damn about nothing Divine Feminine talk about. Divine Feminine, this person is not impressed about you. This person don't care about you. What's the spill with the Six of Cups? Now my phone about to die. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you not mad, you not upset. Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, the reason why Spirit is protecting you because you don't know that this person is your enemy. So, Divine Feminine, you got love for somebody. You Somebody's your friend. You're a friend to your enemies, but Divine Feminine, your enemy is not a friend to you. So, it's like, Divine Feminine, you not mad or upset at nobody, but it's like your friend is like not impressed by you. They're not really your friend. Divine Feminine, this person don't like you or something like that going on. Divine Feminine, you're not salty. You're being very friendly. You're innocent in the situation. What's the spill with Nine of Wands in reverse with this dragonfly? Yeah, feeling trapped. So, Divine Feminine, you think your enemies could have had you feeling trapped all summer? Or it's like Divine Feminine, what your enemies was doing to you the whole summer, they're getting their karma um, after dark hours tonight, earlier today or tomorrow. So Divine Feminine, your enemies was doing something to you all summer and they're coming under judgment. They're going to feel trapped. They're feeling trapped, Divine Feminine, because they was having you feel trapped. Feeling like there is no way to improve a situation could be feeling stuck in, in a circumstance or a relationship. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, um, this could be somebody you're breaking up with. And Divine Feminine, your lover is like harassing you. They're doing dark magic on you. But it's like they smile in your face, but they don't want you to know it's them. Or something like that. This could be your ex or somebody you're breaking up with. What's the spill with the Knight of Swords and the Carriage? Divine Feminine, your ex could be mad because you married someone of a different race or you had a child recently by somebody of a different race. Yeah, self-love. Yeah. <clears throat> Divine Feminine, you might call the cops on somebody after their hours tonight. Or Divine Feminine, intuitively, you might call the cops. And Divine Feminine, the police going to show up so fast. Or Divine Feminine, you the Knight of Swords and you're practicing self-love. Or Divine Feminine, somebody don't like you. Divine Feminine, somebody could have attacked you or put their hands on you in the past or after their hours tonight because they don't like the fact that you practice self-love. So Divine Feminine, somebody could have put their hands on you. Divine Feminine, somebody probably feels as though you live like in a fantasy world. 
That's another reason why this person don't like you. Divine feminine, somebody feel as though you live in a fantasy world. But this person attacked you. Like they put their hands on you. Loving yourself just the way you are. Not dimming yourself to fit other people's perceptions. Self-care and a beauty. Divine feminine, you going to do something real fast after dark hours tonight. Or this is your guardian angel. That knight of swords could be an angel. Mm. Something like that going on. Um, let me put some tea on this. Let me hurry up because I think my phone about to die. What's the tea with this angel of love and this energy that's with the angel of love? What's the tea? Yeah, the my feminine karmic friends. Yeah. Get can't fully trust them tension secret competition. Divine Feminine, your enemies are your secret competition. They smile in your face, Divine Feminine. These are fake friends, fake family members, fake exes. Divine Feminine, your exes want you to think that they ain't got no issue with you, but they still mad about something from the past. Divine Feminine, you're dealing with karmic friends and they're your enemies. And you confide, you be confiding in these people, Divine Feminine. Yeah, dirt digging. Yep. Divine Feminine, these people be digging for dirt on you, but they don't have all the facts. Or Divine Feminine, these people could have been trying to find dirt on you since the summer. And they ain't find nothing yet or something. What's the, what's the tea with this Nine of Wands and Reverse Dragonfly and Feeling Trap? Oh, yeah, boss bitch. Divine Feminine, you could be a boss bitch or your enemies could be a boss bitch. Divine Feminine. Somebody runs their own business. Somebody's stable. Somebody's busy. Somebody's multifaceted. So, Divine Feminine, your enemy could be a boss bitch and she thinks she's better than you. Or, Divine Feminine, you a boss bitch and your enemies is like, Divine Feminine, dumb as hell. How can she be a boss bitch and she dumb? Divine Feminine, dumb as hell. Divine Feminine live in a fantasy world. Or something like that, Divine Feminine. Um, or divine feminine, somebody wants to break in, break in your business establishment. This happened in the past or after dark hours tonight. Divine feminine, you could run a business and somebody like broke into your business establishment or something. And divine feminine, it was somebody from your past. 